What up, Pink Lady T-Birds? Just happen to be watchers of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink, and I'm not sick, but I'm not well. That's not a joke either. Like, the allergies, the sinuses, going crazy, but I don't physically feel ill. But I can definitely feel like I'm not breathing properly. But speaking of motherfuckers that's not sick, but they not well. We need to talk about Lucy Piani. Again. This simple snowflake alt left bitch here. Alt right. Alt right. Whichever one of them motherfuckers. D -d 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 these motherfuckers. Shout out to. If I said it wrong, I apologize. Ali One, because he hit me up on Twitter. He, she. God damn. I'm just fucking up. Ali One, thanks for letting me know on Twitter what was going on and that Lucian Piani, Lucian Piani was acting a goddamn fool again. Listen. So I never read the apology or none of the shit the first time because to me, you ain't sorry. I don't care. Y'all can say mental illness and all this shit if you want to, but you saying this shit because that's really how you feel. It's just mental illness is not, you're not mentally capable of doing what a normal human being does, which is keep their fucking mouth shut. Okay? Um... But anyway, let me go ahead and read this. So this was the last apology after he went on his racist rant last time. I'd like to extend an apology to anyone who might have been offended by what I said during my marijuana psychosis. I ain't gonna read y'all nothing else. Marijuana psychosis. So what you're telling me is this motherfucker went on a racist Twitter rant because he was too high. But hold on. But bitch, hold on. It's because he ate 800 milligrams of cannabis edibles in 48 hour period. And the dose is 5 milligrams. And that much apparently takes a while to get out of your system. So not only are you trying to blame the shit on being high as fuck? You want to blame the shit on being high as fuck and it's still in your system months later? Bitch! Listen. Marijuana psychosis. I'm going to look that up when I get to the end of this shit because I can't even believe that's a real fucking thing. Who the fuck made that up? Okay. So we were optimistic the Lucian was in a good place. I wasn't optimistic about because that, that sounded like some old, I can't hardly breathe, but I swear I smell bullshit. Marijuana psychosis. And he's saying he ate these edibles over 48 hours and it takes months to get out. It takes a very long time to get out your system. So this was very, well, what the fuck you eat this time, my nigga? Because... The one person that had your back, because let me tell you, the girls, the girls, the sisters with the A, not the sisters, like the drag queens in the community, the sisters, the black motherfuckers, the black girls, we were done. But Mama Ru came out and was like, I still fuck with them, y'all give them a chance. Some of us was like, okay, my ass was not one of those. I don't know. You don't, you don't, it's just certain shit. You, you know when people get a pass for the shit, they really don't realize they're doing it and when they don't. This how you know the motherfucker don't get a pass for it the first time. If you, if, if you thought it was okay the first time, here's what I'm showing you to let you know you fucked up and you shouldn't have fell for that shit the first time, okay? So now the new tweets... I understand at RuPaul. I once considered at RuPaul a good person. He is not. Don't buy his sad chicken shit rubbish. Think for yourself. Then he posts on Twitter. This is another post on Twitter. Now, for those of y'all who know, the girls know that we have the season nine, meet the queens and everything. And of course, the ad was like, we need America's next drag super monster. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about Dragula. We need America's next drag superstar more than ever. Make America fierce again. 
this motherfucker says, make America fierce again, question mark. Make America fierce again, question mark, question mark. Make America fierce again, question mark, question mark, question mark. You be fierce again. Hashtag make America fair again. I don't want nobody to get offended when I say this. Because... Well, I'm gonna tell you like this. You don't get offended when I say nigga. Don't get offended when I say this. This faggoty motherfucker right here. Listen. And the reason why I say that is, is I'm speaking like America right now. Motherfucker, you are gay as fuck. Your whole career is built on you being a gay man. Don't nobody know who the fuck you are outside of motherfucking RuPaul's Drag Race, which is the gayest fucking show, the flagship show on the gay fucking network, dude. Make America fair again. And I understand you're a white male, so maybe you forget the gay because you have the white male privilege, so maybe you forget the gay. Nigga, you gay as fuck. Like, see, and this is the thing too. So while you up here, I appall the lack of respect liberals have for our sitting president. How dare you? Shame on you. You are the president. Oh, you got... Oh, wait. I was supposed to say you got Milo degree. Milo disease. But then bravo to Milo for daring to speak his truth. What a champion. Okay, look, motherfucker. You do realize them motherfuckers do not ride for you. Okay? Your rights, just like every other minority in this country's rights, are in limbo fucking right now. Okay? So you riding for him? And now you want to ride for Milo? Listen, Milo done lost all his shit, boo. It's only a matter of time. You gonna lose all yours, too. Because first of all, you don't even got the back. The motherfuckers that got Milo's back don't got your back. Do you understand that, Lucian? No? This motherfucker writes for a... And I'm sorry, I do get the whole left and right confused. I want to say leftist. Maybe not. But very conservative political propaganda magazine. He calls himself the most dangerous faggot. They only ride, they only ride with him because they talking on his side. Let the motherfucker would have been a Democrat and would have been all pro-choice and all that shit and would have been saying I ride for that and I'm the most dangerous faggot they would be burying his ass believe that they would bury yours too a matter of fact you ain't like I said you ain't even got to pull Milo gat my dude at all nobody knows who the fuck you are without RuPaul and don't think oh you might be you might pull a motherfucker Stacy Dash you might give me a little Stacey Dash tease. What you gonna do? You gonna do a little segment on Fox News and be hot? Be the flavor of the month on Fox News to say, look, we ain't all white and straight. We not all wasp. We not all white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. We not, you know, you gonna be that flavor a month for a couple weeks and do a couple of that. And then you gonna fall right the fuck off too. And then you gonna be coming back to the gays. And they gonna do to you just like we did to Stacey Dash. Nah, boo. Nah, boo, you don't get to come back. You don't get to come back. There, you ain't got the receipts. There's no returns. Now what we do have the receipts for is the motherfucker did the shit the first time. Now, my honest opinion, I think this may have all came up and about because, you know, season nine is wrapped and everything and like they're starting the promotion for that. And after that last year, RuPaul probably was like, dude, you damaging my brand. We talking about my money now. You got to fucking go. I bet a dollar to a motherfucking donut. Well, shit, a donut costs more than a dollar. I bet a donut to a motherfucking dollar that now you want to pop off. Oh, but I guess you got marijuana psychosis. That shit's still in your system, huh? Well, I'll put it to you like this. Number one. If 
I'm trying to be careful about my words. If I was high, if I was high, and especially marijuana, because marijuana is not, they say it's, it's, it's addictive. If you had an addictive personality, anything is addictive. Dick can be addictive. Alcohol can be addictive. Drugs can be addictive. Shopping can be addictive. Eating can be addictive if you got an addictive personality. There are some that physically change your insides that you have to have it, like heroin. But we, not so much. How the fuck, if you're telling me a dose is five milligrams, And you took eighteen. You took sixteen hundred times the recommended amount over the course of two days. If that can give you marijuana psychosis, about a third of the way through that, you should have been too high to even fucking do anything else. You feel me? This for this, 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 this my weed smokers. I used to be one of you. I don't hate. I don't judge. But I used to be one of you. Once you get to a point that you are so high, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to pass out. Or you're going to eat a bunch of fucking food. I have never, not to my mom knowledge, been so high that I decided to go on a racist rant on fucking Twitter. Well, when I smoked weed, Twitter wasn't a thing. But, you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you had that much motherfucking THC in your system that they are considering it to be a psychosis, it made you crazy. How the fuck was you still doing this shit and still standing? I don't buy the shit. I don't buy it. I wouldn't buy that shit with your motherfucking money. I don't buy it. I wouldn't buy it with your motherfucking money and I bought a goddamn scarf that I thought was Chanel and it really say CG. I bought that and wouldn't buy this shit that Lucia Piani is trying to fucking sell me right now. I ain't buying it. Um, that's it. That's canceled. Move on to something else. Um, unfortunately, you know, I'm the drag race chick, so I got to bring up the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, especially because I'm not, I tried to be a little bit fabulous with the scarf, but honey, like I said, I'm not sick, but I'm not well. And putting, in, putting on full geese right now is just not even an option. Um, but I do want to thank you for, uh, watching this um you know I want to give a shout you know what real quick I want to give a shout out to Nina Bonita Brown season 9 RuPaul's Drag Race contestant cause she show love she comments on the videos um I just recently got Instagram um I followed her she followed me back like immediately like so I live for her um Pink Ladies and T-Birds I'm Tina Tina Nina Bonita Tina, look, I was trying to, can y'all tell I don't feel good? Team Nina Bonina Brown. That's who I'm repping for season nine. Um, if you'd like to see what else is going on, my other thoughts of season nine, I can go ahead and pop that video down there and we can put subscribe over there and Patreon over there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Fuck Lucia Piani. Deuces.